a guy brought me a integrated amplifier made by Technique SU7300 41 watts per channel uh, was built around 76 to 79 I believe it's got a really nice wooden case to it kind of painted over it uh, I don't know I might try to recap this and bring back the wood out of it I enjoy the uh, the analog Theater. It's really nice and wide. See this? Check out the contours around these knobs, eh? Like the volume. It's a really nice finish. The lamps are burnt on the inside. We'll check the bias, see if it's well set. May check a few capacitors. See if it's running. And uh, we'll go from there. If this is an interesting amplifier that you're looking at, or you have one at home, jump on board. We'll take the cover off. And we'll start from there. Let's do it right now. This is how it was finished and the guy just painted it over a few scratch here and there but try to fix that and this is what it looks like and there it is it's really nice knobs eh? I, I really like the, the finishing contour of the knobs Check out the analog meter, nice and wide, eh? There's the inside. There's my major capacitors. Looks nice and clean. These are the outputs, transistors. They look original. Doesn't look like it's been touched. And I love it. Look at the size of the heat sink. Holy mackerel. It's got a really nice transformer. I'll clean it out a little bit. There's a little bit of dust, but I've seen worse. Looks in good shape. And we'll tackle the, the pods. Actually, there's only one bulb, so we'll see if that works. All right, I'll put you back on the stand. Okay, I plugged it into my dim bulb, and I'm going to attempt to turn this on, see if it's turning on. It's not drawn any power at all. My light bulbs are not lit up, so which is a good sign. I'm going to check voltage here and there, but uh, transistors are working really good. They're at 37.7 volts, all four of them, which is really good. These, uh, these capacitors here uh, were quality capacitors. I noticed there's a couple of orange ones. One, two, three, four orange ones. Usually those ones tend to go bad. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these off. For a start.
right how nice it looks there I've got it all apart and I'm able to access this board right here and this is what I wanted to do so I, I'll be able to check some capacitors it's it's a big job enough but you know what it needs to be done and while I'm here I'm definitely gonna make sure that these are really well tightened something that you don't want to miss out it's your chance to do it now okay so everything is good and while this is open as well I'm gonna be able to clean spray as much stuff as I want to without any anything in my way and this is I like to do that you know they, they they bring you these machines and they want you to clean it out test it out uh, these machines are been you know there for 40 years so uh, How well this is designed, eh? everything is marked. There's a cap there, you know, all the cap all the capacitors are all marked C. You know? So it's it's pretty easy to tell orange ones that I want to check. See that? All the orange ones, eh? But the rest of the one, I bet you anyone they're all good. You know? I've taken it off of here. I had a really nice access. I was able to work on it pretty comfortably. This board is uh, completely checked over. I've changed a handful of capacitors. I'll show you them. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to spray some contact cleaner on all of these pods and switches. That's my next step. And here's the light bulb. I'll have to change that light bulb to a... It's a 6.3 volts. See if I can get one of these. I don't think I have one here. I'll have to order one. Okay, put it all back together, clean all the pods, clean the face and all these knobs, they really look fantastic. Uh, these are the caps that I've replaced. These caps, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight caps. Uh, this board is uh, well tested out, let's see, see how it's going to work. I'm going to plug it in, dim bulb, turn this on, change the light bulb too, eh? Power on. Everything seems to be working okay with this. I'm going to let this run for about 10 minutes and then we'll, uh, we'll check the bias. So I put this all back together and now what I want to do, it's, it's given me an adjustment instruction. So we'll do this one first. This one is to check the DC voltage on the left and the right speakers. See if I have any DC voltage in them. 
pin one, and pin three is for the left channel. And I'm having 0 0.01 voltage. This is for the left channel. And let's try the right channel. Zero point zero one. Perfect. This passes the test. The next one is to check for the bias. The bias needs to be within seventy five millivolts. So resistor two three seven and resistor two three nine should be under seventy five millivolts. And it is, it's at 13.5 millivolts right now. And resistor 238 and resistor 240. Under 75 millivolts, it's at 30 millivolts. So that is also good, that passes the test. 1000 hertz of frequency. Let's see what we get. And that's hooked up to my scope. Somehow this noise is really driving me nuts, so I just I just mute it. And there it is. Eight ohm resistor. And I'm having an issue here. It's because I have to my dim bulb. I'm gonna switch it to a regular outlet and here we go so I am at 20 RMS without any distortion got this right up there right now I've got three volts on this 10 volts and it's giving me 9.6. 20 volts, I get 20.70 volts. So 20 and I'm under an 8 ohm resistor. Okay. And this is for both channels. I can see both of my channels out here, right? They're, they're equal on both sides. Pretty amazing. That's pretty, that's an amazing machine. It's rated at 41 watts per channel and I have it over 50 without any distortion. Nice. I wish I could play some music, but I can't because play some music for myself though. You guys can't hear it. Okay guys, it's time to put this back together. It sounds better than it looks man it it really does and uh, these analog meters work so friggin nice i just realized there was a meter range here it's at times 0 0.1 or times 1 it's just speakers here balance look at these knobs eh Nice and clean. It looks so rich. I have a surprise for you guys. I've got the cover of this makeover. I'll show you. Well, if you watched earlier in the video, showed you the condition it was in. And uh, I 
did some magic with this. Anyways, I'm going to put it together right now. I'm going to put you on the stand. Technique SU 7300 is a wonderful amplifier. Solid aluminum front plate. Look at these knobs, they're really nice. Check out the analog meters, nice and big. And I've changed the light bulb in this. That makes it really bright sitting in your room. And check out the wooden case, doesn't that cool? Uh, the veneer was in really bad shape. I peeled all the veneer, I sanded this. Fill all the cracks with filler. Then I give it a good sanding, good primer, about three coats of primer, and I've used a flat black uh, spray paint on this, and I think it looks fantastic. Amp is rated at 41 uh, watts per channel. I've got 50 watts per channel with this, with no distortion at all. Overall. I love this amp. If you had one of these in your basement or in your closet stored for 20, 30 years, this is a must. You need to bring this back to life. It doesn't take much. It's worth the money anyway. This is a thumbs up. I want to thank all the followers that I have on YouTube. Starting to get up there a little bit, <laughs> really slowly lately. Send me some comments. I love, I love receiving comments. It's nice to hear that and please subscribe to my channel it really does help me and encourages me to make some more videos i have uh, a few more amps that i need to work on before the holidays and uh we'll see you soon Thank <laughs> you.